Good morning, folks. It's Monday. <sighs> How about if I came out and started saying I love Mondays? But that would be an annoying energy, probably, right? Look at this guy. He's trying to be different. I hate Mondays, but I kind of like him in a way because after Sunday, I'm bored to death. Just absolutely bored to death. I don't like sitting around. So we've made it back alive from Unadilla. Whew. Man. That was fun. Good racing. Great time. Me, Corey, Mikey, Craig, Taryn, and Monahan girls and Nate Dog. We all went to Unadilla. We partied it up. We watched some great racing. We watched the 450 champion get crowned the fastest man in the world. He's a 20-year-old. Of course he rides a Honda, ride red. Uh, and this is what we took, this was our ride. Thank you, Sam, that rented that to us. Everything worked out great. Um, you could fit six of those in the one Craig and Taryn got. Bougie, right? Isn't that what they say, bougie? Uh, but what a blast, Taryn did a great job. He had food all planned for us. All weekend, everything was perfect. We had a blast. Um, met an old friend up there, Peter Schildwalker from Schildwalker Oil, up there in, or down there in the Bronx, Manhattan, Westchester County. Talked to him, big oil company. We talked to him for a while, and I learned that he runs his business, him and his dad, just the way we run ours. So if you're looking for a reliable, company with good customer service good pricing give him a call shield walker oil um what else what else is happening oh my gosh i'm i'm a guy i'm kind of weird i'm i'm extreme i'm a giver i don't like to receive things uh, my children aren't allowed to acknowledge my birthday but my daughter will still bring me some some bubble gum and some Kit Kats or peanut M&Ms. It's right after Nancy's birthday. So it's kind of hard not to, but they know that I, I just, I don't want Christmas gifts. I don't, I'm weird like that. Like if we go anywhere, I'll pay always. But I'm going to accept this gift. I had a friend, a fan, I don't, we don't know him. Um, I'll try to get to know him. But he sent us an Echo Power Broom. What? Probably isn't that like 700 bucks? Yes, it is. And he doesn't want any acknowledgement. Dude. You're going to heaven. That's some good stuff right there, man. So, I said to Sam, because he sent it to the office, I go, Sam, because he goes and gets the file in the morning. So said, you get the power broom? He goes, oh, that's what that was? So, you don't get to see it today, but you'll probably see it forever until probably we break it that's kind of sort of what these kids do they're monsters but bro thank you very much just a little fyi i was born where you live we can truly appreciate it and we will appreciate it every single day we use it and the neighbors of our customers will appreciate it because we won't be blowing up these big dust balls anymore so if you guys don't know what that is, really cool tool. Uh, as soon as we get it up and run it, I'll have it up at this job. We'll remember to grab it tomorrow. But again, thank you very much. We here at Tank Masters appreciate that. What a gift. So today is, he's not one of our customers. He is now. Um, he had another tank company pull his tank. Apparently the tank failed inspection. Um, I'm sure they gave him an estimate. I don't know if they tried to uh, go after their carrier. It was a while ago. It was like five months ago. At the beginning of this year. So I just sent him, I sent him my lowest prices that I can afford uh, to make it competitive. And of course he signed with us. And what he got was a time of material. He got a list of all the equipment that we're possibly going to use, what we would charge on a daily rate. And then our labor costs, what we'll charge for disposal, what we'll charge for the soil samples. Um, 
and hopefully 420 videos that he got to learn about me and my boys and how ethically honest we are. If I put those words together right, I don't know. So we don't know what to do. We don't know what to bring. We, we tried to get on Google search. A lot of trees around it. I don't know where the tank is. We're just, we're going in the blind on this one. So I guess we'll bring the 80. Uh, we'll bring some mats, we'll bring some plates. I'll try to bring as little um, equipment as possible because everything's billable, you know. I don't want to bring something. Well, if I bring it and don't use it, I'm not going to charge it. But it's about an hour and 20 minutes away. It's up by uh, Mr. or Mr. Andrew Camarotti. Um, and that's it, guys. Craig and Corey just got here. We're going to have to bring that motor home back on the way. Um, and that's all. You will watch this remediation blind just like we are. We will see you up in Saugerties. Saugerties, home of uh, who's the guy who does a Tonight Show? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon grew up in Saugerties, went to Saugerties High School. Another FYI. Good morning, Corey. And there's Craig. Good morning, Craig. We will discuss how we're handling today because nobody knows. Okay, folks, one hour and 33 minutes. You are seeing it firsthand as we are. I'm going to have to get out of there in front of the fire hydrant. Oh, you see the orange safety fence? What? Oh, here comes the homeowner. Okay, folks, so, I don't know. It's unprofessional to throw companies under the bus, right? I'm not really throwing them under the bus, but this was a project that was done by C2G, located right there in New Pulse. So they come out. He asked for a tank abandonment in place. They cut it open. They entered it. Uh, they said that they saw two holes. They took two samples, and then that's how they leave it. So obviously this tank is going to fill up with water, and if they know there's an environmental impact, it's going to leak out, it's going to purge up and out. Any oil residue that's left in that is because it's lighter, Craig, correct? It's going to come up and out. They left that like there. So now we're, we're, we've been brought out to clean it up. So we'll pump this tank out, we'll pop it out, and we'll start digging. But I just wanted to go over with you. What do you think? Just sit here. Spin, stockpile it right there. So we'll lay out all the plates here upside down, right? Yes, we'll lay out the main plate here. I think we may have, nah, we'll be good. And then we'll load out there. So at the minimum, we'll tell Casey to have a triaxle here yeah. at 9, 8.30. Took us an hour and 27 minutes. Yeah, it's an hour and seven too on the phone. Yeah. It's 9.45. And you were driving slow. Wasn't he? Didn't it seem like he was going slow? Bro. I was giving her the going 55. I, I said that to him. But I had my cruise set at 61. I don't know, man. Uphills, the cruise dies off. But. All right. All right. So we're going to we'll pull that trailer around or just pull some hose. What do you want to do? Let's pull the trailer around. Get the plates, in here get the plates and I guess we don't even need mats, do we? Hey, we'll use the, uh, the trash pump because it's water. Bam! What do you think, Samuel? Sammy just got lit up. Why? I don't know if that was a friend of the homeowner or who that guy was. What we guy? We were all talking and he was like, ooh, look at this guy, he's got no hair. <laughs> Dude, there is? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you come over and say that? He's like, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sammy. Yeah, right? Did they say that, Mike? And then he said, what's all, what's What that? do you mean, but well, this guy's got no hair, what, on his head, you mean? Yeah, he's bald. But then he looks, he goes, oh, look at all the facial hair on you guys, is that a... Down south. All right, this guy's got a hair fetish. I was like, yeah, hey, I'm just trying to cover a double chin. He's like, oh, I sit. That's, yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I do right there. That's why I cut that right there. Because otherwise, you'd, you'd never know I was overweight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, let's do this. Hey, you took a shower. I did take a shower today. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I did. You didn't shower yesterday? You when I got know? home? No. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, stop. I didn't sweat. Oh, my God. What do you mean? You throw me under the bus to all the subscribers. 
I don't care. Hey, total transparency. There's people sitting at home going, oh, I, I, I didn't shower yesterday either. They didn't go to a three-day RV trip. Two-day. In a... Two-day. Two-day. Nobody said I didn't clean up at a sink when I needed. You woke up Sunday, you were still at the RV place? And you didn't shower Sunday. <laughs> but we won some money at the casino. Yeah, the that's right. We stopped at the casino on the way home. Three spins, 1,200. That's how you do it. Hey, watch the wires overhead. You hit those? Oh. All right. Kids are a little abusive on me, aren't they? My Lord. Okay, so here we are out here to clean up another multi-billion dollar company's mess up. And I'm not throwing them under the bus. It's not unprofessional. It is what it is. You guys want to know the story? There's the story. We get a lot of our competitors business afterwards. It's their customer. I don't know how you end up losing your customer. I don't even know the last time that I did a tank removal for a homeowner and the tank failed and I did not get the remediation. I don't even know of a time. soft we seriously need to get that fixed it's it's like I'll plow right into that hill it's so soft right there we were gonna use the mats, but we'll set a couple of plates right here. Sam, I think you're one of the most beautifulest bald men. Hey, so I, I assume that guy that said it had a big head of hair? He did? Maybe we can't find him and do an interview. Inside that house with the dog. Inside this house? Uh, it should be an easy interview then. Lucky. Ain't no luck there, bro. I'll flip these over for you, right? I swear, I, I don't know how a company can do that to their customer and just I, they, they don't even care if they get the business. It's like a who did it and ran. You'd never leave a, a tank abandonment like that, would you? No, you know how we do it. Yeah. Pl layer of plastic goes over that. That goes over. Overburden goes back. Look, they got they got weeds growing out of their overburden. 
That's like they're, they got like berries. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Is... <laughs> <laughs> really? He's got an edible fruit coming out of his overburden. So you want more dirt right here, then, right? More dirt? For overburden? Or are you getting ready to roll? Um. We don't know how bad it is. You're gonna want 22. Yeah. Well, it's not deep, so there ain't a lot of overburden, bro. Yeah, but you're thinking it's gonna be really bad. Well, they said that he said that the levels were high on the soil samples they took. Most now, I'm not saying that they put in f false we're about to find sampling. Out. That's true. Well, we're no, going to. Because they had this. Unless this was the post. No, that is from. Geo. You no, know, he said that when uh, he was trying to sell the home, mm -hmm. an, a, a potential buyer came in and did that. He they hired a company to do that, and then that comp and then they said no, they're not buying. So. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see, Jammer. We will see. There's no paperwork on these water lines, are there? That's why you make the big bucks. They send you out. Yeah. He's not answering. I'll get him. All right, thank you. Should be right in the corner, right? You would think? Well, I went in the garage. Nothing? And it's PEX pipe, so I can't even trace it with the locator. Gotcha. And, uh... It's, so is, the, is the home open? Because we'll, we can walk right in. I just want to see where the meter is. He, he's got a big German Shepherd in there, though. I know. Is the door open? I just slammed it and the dog was right here. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. He, he barked, but he didn't come. Here he comes. Where? See him? I thought I heard something. Was that the German Shepherd? I heard him growling on the other side of the door. So we got this right here. That ain't it, though. So. I don't know where. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, not, line. I'm not opening that door. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah. And I love dogs. He, we pet him. So we, 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 pet, we pet him already. But we still not oh, you did? Yet. We're not going into his house. So he's a good boy, then. Very good boy. On a leash with his owner. Hey, can you, like, pull that with your hand? Pull that to you. Just that, the centerpiece, yep. Wow, this is really a cob way to do it. So it's like never ever gonna. All right. I may have actually put that on there too tight, Core. See if the battery turns it. Got it. See if it turns it. Okay. Hey, guess what? We did it. Nope. Together? No. Nope. As a team. The one thing you always forget. You always Bar say, oil. Yes, I put it. In. I know you did because it's all over my hand. <laughs> That's why I didn't say nothing. I think you're gonna need the extension on that big boy. This is the only extension we have on this. On that one? On the, the, the that one don't orange one. dude that the no, the DeWalt one is way better than that. Yes. But high five for you for first purchasing that. Thank you. I give you credit. You're gonna have to go up on a bucket. Good. Right, I think you can just get it now. Directly ahead of you. Yeah, you got to, you're gonna have to turn around. Can you do that turn? So you gotta get extended a little bit, bro. Shoot, you're gonna have to go for a little bit of a ride. It doesn't seem like it, but it is, you know, he's. He's nine feet in the air. Let me see. Might be too Why are we get it? Why are we that one? Well, with the one right there, the big one right up, 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 boom. That one. Okay. The one that, now, see, I gotta, I gotta track you forward a little bit, right? This is sketchy, it's standing this way. Give me that. You use both hands to hold on. You 
You want to turn around? Yeah, I want to turn around when you move. All right. So this device right here, nothing will happen when that is unlocked. You ready? Yep, go ahead. So now we'll engage. So now everything will work. We just lift the blade up and we're gonna track nice and easy. All right, we'll drop the blade. Disengage that. This thing is already bent. Oy vey, Corey. I don't know how it's working. Alright, uh, which one? Yeah, right, yep, right. Yep, perfect. All right, we're pumping. Here it comes. You should be all clean in there, man. It was cleaned right down to the tank. Okay, so it's just been determined, or it probably was told to me, but the tanks are 275, so everybody who watches, we all know what happens with those. They're all above ground tanks that were buried. It's it's actually a vertical tank buried, isn't it? It looks like it. Yeah. These contractors, man, they take above ground tanks and they bury them. It's a 12 gauge steel. This thing started to leak eight years after it's been in the ground. Oh shit, that means it's been leaking. Yeah, for a while. For a while. Gotta love the trash pump. Yeah, man. Good idea, Corey. Thank was you. anybody else gonna think of that? Stop it. Be honest, right. Craig. Nope, it was all Corey. Okay, so seriously, were you gonna? Of course. All right, oh, all right. <laughs> Corey, he Craig just took that credit right from you. That's what he does, dude. Yeah, he thinks he's better than everybody else. He does. You know? he, that's all he does. He really does. He reads these comments like that. Mark. Hey, he thinks he's, he thinks he's Marky Mark now. What was the first comment? Why? Well, I didn't do it on this one because I feel like a jerk doing it. I did it. Oh. How's it going, Sam? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Well, still, Corey, good, good job. Hey, hey, walk that back. We should get another trash pump for the install trailer. Hey, dude, if you tell, if we tell mom that, she'll be all over the um. Some pump trash pump. The, the yeah, the, the nine uh, counties looking for a yard sale with a trash pump. Hey, did I see on the calendar Nancy's having a yard sale herself? Yeah, well, that the our little community does it. Oh, okay. Dude, she's the best seller. She gets all dressed up and what? she's got stuff laid out in category. It's, it's kind of impressive, actually. Yard sale queen. Actually, I shouldn't say yard sale queen because she does uh, she does all that stuff. Anybody want to come up with something creative, positive that'll make her happy? Because yard sale queen didn't really sound good. Oh, you like that? Yeah, give me a minute. Yard sale queen. Fancy Nancy. That's all I got. Fancy Nancy. All right, so I'm going to pop that out now. I'm going to pop that out. You know, it's funny. We probably have eight rolls of C2G safety fence. So we just add to the collection.
so I can see it now. We'll, I'll pull that bad boy right out. What do you want me to do? You see it? You good? Get that last bit of water out. And there it is. PID meter. The I want to get. Yes, I did. I just want to get my first reading so we know. Bad Mike. Oh. Well, this is good. Everybody, take a sniff, and we're gonna do a hundred dollar challenge. Yes. What do you think, Corey? I think it's good. Really. Still Every so far, everybody's claiming not fair. Well, no, I can't guy, but me, I'm going to crush it. Right to his Samuel. No. The, the state shows by the numbers. You don't crush this, these challenges. The guy, Craig, you seriously like not not that much this, fun to this, be around. State versus, you just said you're going to crush it. I'm gonna. Why can't I be positive? It's nine months in. You won two challenges. Why can't I? Okay, still. Why can't I be positive? Who's the one, who's the one doing it? You. Why can't I be positive? You can. Thank you. I'm not going to be the one known to be the cheater. Text getting, me. We're getting the highest. Text me your number. We'll be here all night. No, we're not. We're going to do it right now. And then when we pull the wand out, the highest number that that was. No, we're not. We're going to do it right now. And then when we pull the wand out, the highest number that that was. Text me your number. Let me know when it's in. I have mine. Oh, you got the right reading. <laughs> this sucks, guys. I feel bad for you. Wow. Craig wins. 97 is the highest. Craig wins. Bullshit. Hey. This is bullshit. Yeah, nice, nice challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my fault. That, that's right at the surface, though. It's gonna get worse. Greg, don't put that away. Okay. I hate when Craig wins. 
Only because he's so arrogant. I mean, I love you as a child, but man, I hate when you win. Corey, that's the 189 right there. Okay, take a reading. Hey, what, what is it? 206. Boy, my 189 is looking good, huh? I knew we shouldn't have read that sample. You were 213? It ain't right, man. That's all right. All right, and we will dig. go down there and just see what that sidewall looks like it's a silty sand soil um, it wasn't the soil that was installed Kingston actually does have a large area where the soil is a silty sand I don't know if you can remember but we did um, hey remember you remember the LeBeau project Corey Remember the LeBeau one with all those Stip 3? Remember the LeBeau project with the Stip? Yeah, in West, West yeah, That was all sand too. Yeah. Because that's right close to here. Yep. Okay. I told us how she was going to do it in August. Yeah, but I'm just, I thought that this sand was for the installation. Oh. But this area is all sandy soil. But you can clearly see the blue-gray. This house was built in 63, so this was the original tank, so I'm sure in the year 73 it was already leaking. Okay, I don't know. I think this is the only elevated area. We're going to take a sample here. We'll do that. I'll clean up this. That looks pretty good over there. So it's just where it's up against the foundation, maybe, and then we'll see 
how far down it goes. So get the PID boys to take some sampling. Gotcha. All right, so Corey and Craig are doing that sample right there. This is Cy, well this is the area that only looks elevated to me. It does smell down here though. I'm gonna say we have about 22 tons up on the deck. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. All right. So I'll dig a little more here. Let me give you this right here. All right. So it's like everything down there is nothing is completely clean because it's a silty sand and it's a high water table. So all this sand has been it's it's like a it's like a coffee filter. You know, you can try to physically remove as much out as you can. But there's going to be residue everywhere so it's just that one corner that is in the low 50s three more, three, three more buckets so we'll go down right there and i know it'll clean up quickly it's just get that down to 20 everything else was in the teens yeah there's no zero though side I mean we're down about nine feet I don't know I gotta get out I mean you're not gonna be Right, it's not going to be heavy in weight, but yardage, it's going to, it's definitely going to fill that. I mean, that's a triaxle, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> what? Look, you know I'm going to have the headgear on. Look who has made it. Do you like to shake his hand? <laughs> How are you, my friend? Good, good. good to see you, finally. Good. Do we say your name? Mike Scott. That's Scott. He could possibly be our number one fan. He came here from Lake George. Drove from Lake George just to see us. Good to see you. Excellent. It's good to see you, my friend. Perfect day. It's not too bad. There's no sheen in there. Corey's gonna take the fencing down. I gotta climb, I gotta get myself on the other side of this pile. Hey, he went up to Sam and said, what's up, bud? Hey, I know. All right, so that was the guy right there that claimed, uh, he was surprised by Sam's no hair. So Corey's getting the key for us. Hey, this can be fun getting over. I thought it wasn't supposed to rain. Scott, you brought this here today. It's got me off my game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes, man, I'm just a little rusty in the morning. 
I didn't have the controls engaged. My tracks are just gonna plow right through this. So that was pretty cool meeting Scott. He's been trying to hook up with us for the longest time. He's a long time police officer. Pretty sure he's got a place in Texas. Yeah, I'm just plowing right through it. This is a little light now. That's crazy, right? So this is how many C2G jobs we do. This is the pole that they, they use, they leave. Hey, you think they can call us up and ask to recover their stuff? So and this is an old pole that we had in our trailer. Same thing. Hey, they probably went back to every job site and looked for their fence. Yeah, I don't think they care, dude. The amount of money that they charge people yeah, to do so the same thing the, we do. On the next job we take, can we upgrade our poles, guys? Yeah, let's send, we'll send a message. Oh, I kind of like this fencing better than the fencing we have. No, the, no, the poles. poles we're talking about. Oh, we would like an upgrade on the poles, the guys. A little weird. Could. Yeah, come on, step your game up. Because you're making us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> right? We got to use your second or sand stuff. Terrible. All right. Well, that's all we can do here, folks. Did you enjoy the show? We hope you did. We will catch you in the morning. And all this time I've been saying Kingston, we're in Saugerty, bro. Yeah. I don't know. Same, same. It's close. It's close. All right. No. All right. Truck has just arrived. I'm just going to give them the point on what they can see. I'll just let them see my bucket. Straight in, Craig. Straight in. Yeah. That's good. No, no, no. That's good. Like that. Just like they're doing. Just like they're doing. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, brother. Hey, I'm going to do the bulk right here, and then when it gets to the fine tune, Mike, did you happen to find that end piece? It's somewhere in the, in the truck. The Sylvie? The Sylvie. Uh, I know it is. I just don't know where it is, Mike. Talking to Scott, he's a good guy. You know, I've had one other of our fans come out to meet us. 
And I never had that in my life. It just always feels a little weird. But I can imagine these guys who have 20 million subscribers. What they, but he's a good guy. He's a normal guy living the same lives we live. It's pretty cool. Oh, this seems to be diminishing quickly now like I said earlier uh, I gave this gentleman a time and material price but yesterday you know we had a discussion he is on limited funds he's taking care of this for his daughter so we had another discussion and you know based on what I saw I just gave him one price and believe it or not you're gonna laugh when you hear this you may not believe me but the price that I gave him turned out to be a seven thousand dollar discount below his time and material price because last night I went over all because I knew what time I'd be done here so I added up all the time and material and it came out to a specific price I took seven thousand dollars off that price so if I have to go grab more soil from that void, it's not like I'm overbilling the customer because he's paying one price. But I do have to get 22 tons into this truck or I'm gonna get hit with a minimum trucking charge. In other words, if they send a truck out here and you don't have at least 22 tons of product, see, I knew I was gonna grab that lift the first time. If I don't have 22 tons of product, they charge me per ton extra. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's a few hundred dollars. I think it's in your truck. That's unbelievable that I did that. I got this though. Okay. And and I just I just caught the end. Lifted it up. Yeah, yeah, I did. So you know, I don't want to get hit with a 22 ton minimum charge. And if I go take extra dirt from the hole, the customer is not going to get charged. So, um, you know, I don't want to upset this driver because he drove to, to Saugerties. He drove one, two, he's over two hours from where he left his facility this morning. And now he's got to go back to Carteret, New Jersey. So, guys literally driving well over five hours today. And they make their money on the amount that they're carrying. So, just trying to make everybody happy here. forecast last last night said it was going to stop raining up here at 5 30 a.m what a surprise the weatherman is wrong again and he gets to keep his job possibly the greatest job in the world other than a dentist that you know job security fill the cavity and let the cavity fall out and customer comes back do the same thing over again so I hate needles and I had those two cavities filled and I did it without any Novocaine and I gotta tell you it was the worst decision of my life <laughs> but I acted like I guess you know, trying to be a tough guy say oh yeah I can do that so when he started, immediately I said, oh my God, I can't do that. But my pride jumped in, my ego jumped in, and I'm like, ah, you can't say nothing now, you're gonna look like a baby. So I went through that. That was incredible. Folks, get the Novocaine. A couple seconds pain with the needle ain't worth what I went through. So just a little friendly advice from your tank guy. So I just wanted to give everybody a, a tip. If you're excavating 
and you got to do this situation here where you're trying to um, take product from the ground where you don't want to disturb the ground it's always good to clear an area where you can just see that that one set of teeth if you can see it you know the correct plane to keep it and it won't go down and dig into the soil so a couple of scoops you're gonna have to be blind but then after that as long as you can see your teeth you should do okay soil the uh, bucket. with that. That was a little fancy right there too. That's it though. That's all I got. It's right, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. See, nobody says that stuff, so I need you here. These guys don't give me nothing. Mike just did right there a little bit. I don't think I ever cleaned it up. Well, these metal plates help. All right, wave them on. I, I beat them. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Safe trip. Safe trip. So here's what that very generous subscriber sent us that's the power broom attachment what is that a little four horsepower <laughs> two stroke this is exciting folks first start up on our new toy choke it Is it? No, it's not. Corey, run it, run it all. Corey. Hey. Run the mud uphill from here. Yeah, that's because I gotta go back. 
No. It's running the wrong way. No, it's not. That's how it goes. You push it. Hey, it's, it's, it's supposed to get the rocks out of the grass without disturbing the grass. Yeah, that part right there. Did our job just get easier? All right. Okay. Thank you, Anonymous from Anonymous. Uh, yeah, he didn't. So we're going to learn not only how to use this properly, but when's the right application? So I'm sure heavy, compacted, muddy sand is not key, although just getting it off the road right there was good. Right? Because the blower's not going to do that on the road. Not as good. No. So you just got to know the right and wrong time to use it. That guy that we spoke with yesterday is not answering the phone now, of course. So we can't find anywhere with topsoil. There is a place about 20 minutes away that has fill. So we're just gonna go get 20 tons of fill while we continue to look for the topsoil. Uh, but we wanna end, get this out of here. That should all dump right out. Corey, if you drive forward, it'll come out. I hope. Yeah. That looks like straight up mud. It is. All right, well, this is this, the best stuff we got here. It, and it took like 40 minutes. It's a good thing we had Scott here entertaining us. So this thing is not four wheel drive. So let's see if Craig can get up it without too much of a problem. And yes, I know guys, the homeowner wanted this. So, we give folks what they want. Let's go, brother. You need a run. There you go. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're good, you're good, come on. 
You're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep it back. Come on. Right there. Right there. You're going to sink. You're going to sink. You should have put a couple mats out. After he leaves, we'll put a couple mats out, Mike. You ain't moving now, but we'll throw some mats out. Hey, they have topsoil? All right. So we'll, get, we'll load up one mason. We'll load up a mason. It's all mud, man. You got hit with that? Hey, dude, we got a lawsuit. You hit Scott. We just, we just assaulted a police officer. <laughs> he got a money shot. <laughs> You're good. Heads up, Scott. We gotta open that chain up. Give it up, it'll come. It's falling. That'll work, that'll work, Mike. All right, so these boys are all gonna go back and load up again. I'll come in here and compact it and it's gonna look like pudding. Smells like septic, don't it? Yeah, organics, as they say. That's right. It's all organics. Here comes 
of pudding now. Told them to load it up. We don't see it coming out of the top though. Okay, okay. Mikey just found a Packer fan, another Packer fan. sell right there downhill bro Fix these.
good because we need to get rid of dirt now. Is that ours? No. no. Okay, that was fun. Scott, I appreciate you coming out. You're a good dude. He is, um, we know I have, we have our number one customers, definitely. But I could be our number one fan right there. He called himself a super fan, and I think you are, brother. Thanks again. That was a blast. So that's it, folks. What a, what a messy day. Rained on and off all day. We got her done. Um, oh, I get the tonnage for you, but I think Casey said it was a 24 ton remediation. Done. There you go, C2G. You let another go. I guess you got too much money. Either way, that is another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental.